A thorough assessment of the sports facilities on island has been conducted by Honorable Kenson Kazimi, Minister for Youth Development and Sports. The assessment formed part of the minister's fact-finding mission as he finalizes plans for the management of facilities at the national level. Details from Julita Peter. Minister for Youth Development and Sports, Audible Kenson Kazemi, recently led a delegation on a site visit to sporting facilities that form part of the National Sports Infrastructural Program, NSIP. The sites visited included the Sufra Mini Stadium, the Deriso, Miku, and Denry Plain Fields. The visits were necessary in providing an overview of the conditions at those sporting facilities. I will say that today was eye-opening. Um, a number of the facilities that have been considered complete still require a number of adjustments and uh, a number of, uh, you seem to have a lot of TV issues. Going forward, we as a ministry, we're going to put in place a national uh, facility management policy together. We are going to be doing that uh, under well, the auspices of NLA and SSI so that we can have standards as it pertains to what playing fields are supposed to look like. Honorable Kazemi was accompanied by the Member of Parliament for Soufre Fosse Jacques, Honorable Emma Hippolyte, and the Member of Parliament for Miku North, Honorable Jeremiah Nobert, along with officials from the Departments of Economic Development and the Ministry of Youth Development and Sports. I know we've had a lot of young people in here, we want to start a football competition, there are certain things missing. And what I was happy to hear, the minister giving me a commitment that within the next two weeks, we'll try to get two goalposts, at least so that the football competition could start in Sufre. There are a lot of things that we have to, to do. We have to put a management committee in place to manage this facility, and the ministry is going to assist in that. The other area for us is the maintenance of the facility. Chairman of the Derisov Football League, Mr. Innocent Sitaj, expressed that although he was generally satisfied with the new facility in his community, there were matters requiring some attention. We would like to see that um, all the potential hazards on the field are taken care of. We would like to have an area, a technical area. We also like to see a well-developed warm-up area. We would also hope that um, we'll have shelter in the near future and a place where the vendors can comfortably sell their, their produce. We would also like to have our own dressing and storage area. Um, it would be nice if we have a building where players can get dressed, they can get their massages, they can get a bath after games and so on and so forth. As much as I'm, I'm an avid lover of sports, I, I, everything about sports, you get it in Jeremiah. I still have some difficulties with the artificial surface. I'm pro-green, so I prefer our green surface. And I understand the, the, the reasoning and the rationale behind this surface. As I said, I do have my challenges with it. Um, but having spoken to the Minister of Youth and Sports today, there is some hope that we'll see even further development and improvement with the, with the surface. and also with stands where, where our people would be able to come and watch a football game. The Youth Development and Sports Minister said his ministry would like to see the formulation of policy to deal with the upkeep and management of sporting facilities on the island. Julita Peter reporting.